in distress. Aren't we too smart for that? Nah, nah, we ain't missing this one. All right, let's go. Hop in. Setting up a maneuver. Right in. Oh, no. Goods. I'll check the command module. Roger that. We're on it. There's nothing here. The place is dead. Let me check the bridge, and we're out of here. All right. Suddenly I grew so tired of you. Down here it can be beautiful, beautiful. Goods. I'll check the command module. Roger that. We're on it. There's nothing here. The place is dead. Let me check the bridge, and we're out of here. All right. Suddenly I grew so tired of you. Down here it can be beautiful, beautiful. folks we are back hey winter how you doing my man senator echo winter here he is <laughs> and hey draconian how are you have you uh, do you feel a little bit better i know you weren't very, you weren't you weren't feeling so well last night were you well this uh, morning I it was his son oh it was his son of course it was yes calpol i remember <laughs> uh, we've got a bit of face cam today um 
because I feel like a human again, so I, I, I'm deigning to show my face. <laughs> I know, I know. Horrific. Zero viewers. <laughs> but uh, joining me today is Viking Warrior of Viking Warrior Gaming. Uh, you should... I think there's a link to his channel on... If you go to my channel, I think he's linked in the side there somewhere. Uh, I don't think I am. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll do so at some point then. <laughs> Sorry. Please. Right, uh, we're going to see if our base from this morning or last night still exists. No, it was 4am. It was this morning. It was this morning, really, wasn't it? <laughs> right, we are on Europe West. Let's connect and see. I'm good, Winter. And that hellion trailer music is badass it as is, hell. It is, it is. That's the first time I've heard it. Really? Oh, yeah. It's, it's that hell when I watched trailer, the trailer it got was, me. Ooh. It, it was silent almost. It looks like I'm still alive. <gasps> yep. Let's get the helmet off. Hooray! So there's a little bit of damage to the station. I'd probably been hit by a debris field. I shouldn't think so, given where I put it. Just see, I'm quite sure I've got a... Yeah, there we go. We've got a repair tool. Let's get it sorted. Then again, things do degrade slightly, don't they? They do, over time. Doesn't look like there's any major damage. 85% hull integrity? Oh, a little bit. Right. Now, the first thing that we want to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to invite Viking in two. Now, what we could do is we can go over to one of these cryopods... Oh, he's got bronchitis. Oh, bless him. Uh, I hope he feels better soon. I really do. Right, let's get uh, Viking invited in. Let's go invite friend. Oh, there's Captain Shack. Friend is a strong word. He's <laughs> filling me with confidence, this companionship episode. <laughs> it might take me a moment or two to find you. Be nice I mean, yeah, you can probably invite Shack, but... Uh... <laughs> You know, I don't know what he's up to. She's he's probably a very bit busy. to find you. Right, I've got too many people in my friends list. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's yeah. why I limit it to about uh, 30 people. So I just saw you. There you are. There you go. Ah, you have an invite, sir. Oh, and it comes through via uh, Steam as well. Well, that's new. Yeah, I didn't realise that it did that. Well, I know that uh, the dev team has been striving to increase their uh, companionship, as it were, with multiple different platforms. Mm, that is true. Is this game like Star Citizen? I wouldn't necessarily uh, say so, no. Because it's no, a survival no. game, I, I wouldn't necessarily equate the two. Okay, I think still Star Citizen is more about the uh, flying and the pew-pew and that, and uh, Hellion's more about living. Hello. Hey, for a last you've got some broad shoulders. <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> My guy does look a little bit slouchy. Put it on. Booty, 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 booty. Get off. Oh. Put the suit on. Oh. If you go. hold R, uh, it appears that you now have to pick up things into your hands and then hold R for certain things. It would appear so, I. Yes, the lighting has been improved. I'd certainly say so. It's very looking, pretty. Looking very nice. Your overall. face is very, very bright. Is it? You look like you've absorbed a sun. Settle down, dog. <laughs> Settle down. God, I wish I had an office. Perhaps one day. Perhaps one day, indeed. Uh, air tank is empty. Oh, it would be. And I'm unauthorized on your ship. Okay. Well, let's get let's get through and rectify that. 
Oh, have you uh, clicked the info screen? I have. That's cool. It requires power, oxygen, and nitrogen to generate air through the air generator that goes into the air tank. Mm -hmm. The air tank then takes it through and puts it into the room. That's so cool. It is. It's just nice and general, really, isn't it? Should we get to the ship and uh, I think ah! Can we can we get through the door? I'll let you go first. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think oh, oh, oh this is so beautiful. It's the lighting. You may want to grab a couple of those canisters there. Ooh. Okay, well, let's get this open. I think this is probably due to me turning on the volumetric lighting. Oh, there's some damage here. There we go, I'll sort that out while we're here. There we go, that's better. So okay. pretty. Just gonna open the outer door. Now it should be pressurized through there. Oh, they've even improved the HUD a little bit. Hmm. Now it says things like pressed L to toggle flashlight and that. Helmet on. It's on. Don't worry. Ooh. See, I'm quite sure that should be pressurized. Yes, it should be. It's just being silly. Ah, they're better now. Bit more location issues. Let's see if it wants to go now. No, no okay, we're gonna have to force the outer door. That shouldn't be a problem. See, no problem at all. There you go. Ladies first. Oh, such a gentleman. I do my best. Oh, it's gorgeous in here. Maybe because the ship's powered down. That might be why. Okay, um, now by holding shift, guys, you can grab onto whatever's close, as you see. I, I oh, I know why I can't do it. Yeah, it's because you're not authorised quite yet. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, Would you mind holding shift, I'm... because I'd like to uh, disengage the ship from the airline. Holding shift. There you go, we're free. See, oh. we've disengaged from the airlock and we're floating off now. This is gorgeous. This is what I was looking at last night and loving. Alright, let's get the door closed. Uh, just I'm just going to turn our power here. on and then we're going to be hot to trot. Can you keep the lights off? Um, I wonder if there's a way that you can do that. I don't know. There, there may be an option in the power screen. I don't know. Uh, FTL engine, air filter, air generator. It doesn't look like it. That makes me sad. Oh, I'm because... glad. I'm glad he's feeling better, Draconian. He's got some penicillin. Um... Good stuff. Right, let's just There's add you as a crew member. It's beautiful. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to find you with a little bit more ease this time. Hopefully. Hey, what's this button do? There you go. You are now a member of the crew. Hooray! The volumetric lighting and the lighting in this ship is absolutely gorgeous. Let's turn her on. Ah, oh. even now it looks good. Oh, help! Why have I got my helmet on? Uh, I me... really do like the info screens. I'm just going to drop a little bit of ammo in here for you. Yay! You know me and guns. Oh. Uh, one thing that I have noticed with this update is the location isn't quite right at times. So that's something that we may have to contend with. So when you're trying to put things away, it goes a little bit wonky now and then. These are the ammo magazines from Show Me's Derelict. What? No. <laughs> it's not a derelict, I it doesn't know. exist anymore. Right, I think in this episode, one of the things that we would really like to do is to try and get some more warp cells. I think that's going to be important to us. So uh, It will be indeed. So I think what I'd like to do is see if we can get to Burner. Sounds good. 
There is a civilian supply post around Burn. I don't know if we can get there without going through the planet. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a fire extinguisher thing, a slot here now. There never used to be. And the FTL drives offline. That doesn't help. <clears throat> right, let's give that a moment. Okay, let's just see if I can... It looks like we're not going to smash into any planets, so... That's always a good time. Let's get towards Burner. I bet we smash into a planet now that I've said that. No, don't say that. <clears throat> the driller would like to know who the developers are of this game. Uh, that would be Zero Gravity Games. Zero Gravity Games, indeed. I think they're quite a... Uh, also, hey, Driller. More. But yeah, they're, uh, they're a small indie game. In fact, they were... Uh, initially, they were on the Indie DB, and then they got Steam Greenlit before Greenlight ended. Uh, they've had quite a journey. Quite a journey. I think they're a Czech company. Uh, Watch me be wrong about that. I think their head office is in Warsaw, so that would make oh, them Warsaw? Polish, Polish, but I, I'm not certain. So don't quote me on that. Oh, does my forehead keep going? My apologies. <laughs> That's because your lighting is terrible. I think, yes, pretty much. I think when I uh, when I lean in, my forehead goes. If I was to lean back consistently, I'd be okay, niblet. But I can't lean back constant consistently. One of the I've got quite a large screen at the moment because my smaller screen died. I've only got one ship, Echo. Only one. Um, my smaller screen died, so now I've now got a larger screen. And of course, uh, the changes in lighting on the screen, they have a greater impact on my face and, and generally the lighting. Uh, and also, I'm... In fact, I, I, I can show you. I, I'm just using lamps, broken lamps, in fact. Um, so, it's... <laughs> Possibly not the most ideal lighting. What I would ideally have would be white lights that, were, that would be facing me using a uh, using a mirrored reverse, but I, I haven't seen fit to buy any. <laughs> Nova, oh no, they're Serbian. Serbian. My apologies, guys. Uh, anybody at Zero Gravity Games, I apologise for getting that wrong. No, I know who's at Warsaw. It's the uh, developers of House Flipper. House Flipper? Yes, it's kind of like this for cleanup detail. But and you, you flip houses? Not literally. House <laughs> flipping is the uh, term for buying a cheap rundown house, doing it up on the cheap, and then selling it for more money. Fast off says, are you glad you moved into your new home? Any regrets? Um, I think I, I think like like any human being, I regret spending money. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. Um, of course, you know, I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. I've had a, a great deal of help um, in order to get where I'm at. But I'm, I'm overall happy with it. It just, uh, I've got to take my time if I want to buy new things. I need to be able to justify the expense. Uh, because you've got damn because dog. you've got dogs to think about. Yeah, I mean the, there are always associated costs that you need to think about, uh, particularly when living alone, which I am at the moment. Okay, so the civilian supply post is about four point five kilometers away. Not too far. Well, that's good. Have you moved then? Yes, we went to what? No, not us, you. No, 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 I moved some time ago. Oh, right, you're still in your house that you bought. Indeed. I thought you'd moved house. <laughs> no, no. How far have they gone into the development so far? I, I think they're well into their development cycle. Uh, and I think they're doing a great job at this point. Yeah, I think... Uh... Uh, there's, there is lots more to do. Stage. Yeah, I mean, there is lots more to do, and I, I don't think we should be uh, in any way coy about that. Uh, they're not feature complete. They are in alpha, not beta. 
That's, that's of course the definition of uh, of beta and or alpha. Okay. Now I'm not sure whether there are any turrets in this civilian supply outpost. It's a civilian supply outpost, so probably not. But then again, we're around Burner, aren't we? We are around Burner. You're quite right. Which is the military place, if I remember correctly. Not anymore. No, it's it's become the civilian one. Ah, so does that mean Everest Station is military, or is that? Still uh, I believe it's Broken Marble now. Everest, I think, is the industrial area. Right, you should be able to see, guys. Silhouetted against the darkness of space, the station that we're rolling up on. Yep, I can see it. It uh, resembles a robot at this angle. I can't see it so well because I'm getting quite a lot of glare from the sun. Uh, I have uh, zoomed in, and I'm. Do you know what I really like? Um, something akin to a lot of other games. While I'm sat in this seat, I'd love to be able to hold Alt so I can look around. You can. Not while you're piloting. Ah, right. Not while you're piloting. Well, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Here what the hell? Uh, looks like there's some debris. Yeah, we're in a debris field. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What do we have here? Ow. Uh, command module, two left corners, and are those, those are living quarters, aren't they, not PTMs? Yeah, it looks that way. So that would imply no power, meaning unlikely to have turrets. I think that's a fair assumption. Let's get ourselves as close as we can. Especially if we're in a debris field. And just hope we don't get hit by anything really large. Oh, speaking of really large, something just went past us. <laughs> if something just hit us. Um... We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm just going to move upwards a little bit so we can utilize the front entrance. Sounds good. While you do that, I'm going to. Alright, matching. My... I think we're probably in a fairly good position there. Uh, we should be protected from some of the debris. Because it is coming Fingers from crossed. down and to the left. I appear to be stuck. How have you managed that? Oh, there we go. Little jump. <laughs> Little hop, skip and a jump. Yeah, we are in a debris field at the moment. Oh, good lord. Uh, hmm. Oh. <laughs> right, let's just take a look at the percentile of health that we've got. Now, one thing that you might sometimes see is, from my perspective, your rifle is, if you stand still, looking at me, your rifle, from my perspective, is here. Right there. Oh. So there, oh, are, yes. there are some fun positioning issues. I can see that on your screen. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, while, uh, while Zero Gravity Games are Hold making on, an effort to, uh, yeah, to fix the positioning, it's not 100% done at this point. Right, should we, um... Should we pop yeah. down? Has getting my gun out fixed it? You'll also notice that this is a bit wonky as well. No, not for me. Oh, it was for me. Like, yeah, I saw you hopping about a bit. Like, more so your position from my perspective was a bit wonky. Right, things that I need to do, I need to put this away. Ah, yeah, getting out and putting it away seems to have fixed it. And I'm also going to pop these fellas away. Oh, so pretty. Also, the positioning is a little bit more finicky than it used to be of items. I think Oops. you can only fit one small resource canister on shelves now, which I, I don't like. I must admit. You used to be able to fit three per shelf, as it were. Right. Are you ready for this? Yep. Helmet on. Helmet on. It's going to take a moment or two to uh, depressurize. 
Yeah, seems like getting my gun out and putting it away has fixed the location problem. Niblet says, as much as I love all these new space games in the last few years, I can't help but wish they did something like Free Space 2 or Tacky on the Fringe, where you fly through nebulae in them. Uh, lack of vision and scattered radars added so much tension. I agree with you, Nibs. I think that would be great. How many moons, planets, and systems are there? Uh, there's only the one system, the Hellion system. Um, there uh, are... Uh, five, I think six planets. There are five main planets, but there are also some planetoids, so moons, etc. Oh, looks like we're ready to go. Now, hopefully we can just... Oh, uh, we're not in the asteroid field anymore. No, no. Oh, oh dear. I've forgotten all the controls. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's okay. We're all good. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like it's depressurized. Looks like you're not wearing a helmet on my screen. Oh my. I can assure you I am. Okay. No visible turret. That's uh, probably for the best, because you would have opened the door and we would have both just got gunned down. <laughs> Oh, some red carbon filters. Let's get some Let's light just on turn the my situation. Light on. Yeah, good call. Some uh, small stim packs. Okay, let's... let's pop up here. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Poster? Should we, should we grab the poster? I think we should. Yes, grab the poster. There's a small stim pack in the doorway that I can't carry. Okay. I'll look at grabbing that. Much of this. Damn you, gravity. Like there are dozens of stim packs. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, there are, uh, there's an absolute ton of stim packs. Oh, yeah, I found another two in here. Right, I wonder if we could authorize ourselves on oh, no, this station. Three. There's a lot of stim packs. So it doesn't look like we can. Help! Man down! <laughs> okay. You're good? Yep. Yeah. I'm glad. I fell over. You fell you over. Nothing. You fell over. <laughs> yeah, there's a basketball hoop. Do we want a basketball hoop? If that's what you'd like. I mean, if you want to take a basketball ship to our... Uh, sh basketball, basketball ship. ship. Uh, I've got a basketball as well, so you grab the hoop, I'll grab the ball. And then we can play basketball, because that always has worked out well for us in the past. I like to think so. Another stim pack? I found a warp cell, but I don't think it's... It, even if it's only at 20, 30%. 23. Yeah, grab it. Uh, what's this one at? Uh, Draconian is asking... Um, can you ask Viking if you've got a chance to take a look at the SGI vids I've put, I've put up? Uh, I haven't as of yet. Well, there you go. Take a look at some point, my friend. I will do. Oh, I found another basketball hoop. We only require one, however. Okay, let's see if there's anything I decent in here. A couple of servo motors which I'll grab. There's a dearth of items. A dearth? A dearth. Are you sure that's a word? Absolutely. Okay. I believe you. I found a servo motor. Uh, resources are full on nitro. Let's throw that away. Air processing controller. Those are debatably useful. Another small air pack, uh, med pack, which I don't need. Oh, and I've fallen. I'm sure it'll take a look over the next day or two. Um, won't you, Viking? Oh, yeah. Just been really busy. He's not telling the truth. I am. <laughs> Bite me. Let's see where we're at. I see that you're taking a look at med packs. Med pack? I think you mean jet packs. Yeah, I do mean jetpacks, my apologies. <laughs> well, I may as well grab it. I don't think we need any more helmets or body pieces, uh, really. Fine! Well, you can grab them if you want, I just... Uh... 
Uh, we're in a debris field. We are indeed. I'll just grab the jetpacks then, shall I? Or have you already grabbed them? You grab whatever you think's important, my friend. <sighs> Go in space. Have you checked out the other side, or is that what you're now doing? Uh, I'm in the uh, I'm in the U bend at the moment. I'm going to see okay. if I can survive getting back to the ship because it doesn't appear that there's much going on. Okay, there it is. You can see all these really big pieces of debris flying around. I think one's going to hit the ship actually. So it's probably a good oh, thing yeah. I'm going back. I've got no no severe damage whatsoever at this point. Oh, that's good. Hooray, another basketball, in case we lose the first one. <laughs> Just trying to find a spot that I can put the basketball. There we go. Uh, we're taking a little bit of a paste in here. Uh, yeah, station, station has been knocked out of orbit. Oh, crap. Oh, she's a spinning quick. She sure is. She's spinning away from the ship as well. I'm just going to stay here for now. Okay, bud. I feel like that's probably a safer option. Possibly. Than trying to, like, leap out of this spinning station. This is quite a severe debris storm. Another buddy basketball hoop up here. Uh, when you say, uh, what's the upload speed of my broadband? Uh, about something like 24 meg, I think. Bear in mind. I used to have 20. Alright, it's dead low. Oh my, I'm going to have to relog in a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah, I've done something a little bit silly, and now I've got layered backpacks. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, are you ready to come back to the ship? I am. Um, I'm just going to have a lay down here, though, for a second. There we go. Magnificent. Lovely. <laughs> Only one ship, my friend. Only one ship. The Torres Real is 600 meters away. Yeah, yo, come on, you could do that. I'm not saying that I can't, but Jesus. Well, she took a little bit of a pasting herself, you know. She's no slouch. No, she was a slave. For most of her adolescent life. Okay, it looks like we're still in a fairly nice position actually. Still at 98% hull. So, we... so she didn't exactly take damage, she just took a bit of a beating. Yeah. A little bit of a uh, distance fun. Alright, I'm 300 meters away. Okay, buddy. Good stuff. Well, we've got a couple of additional servo motors, which is nice. Don't think we need any upstairs at the moment, so I'll put these away. I did grab one warp cell, which has got 25% power on it. Uh, still carrying one, which has only got 5%. Let's get rid of that. I got to one that was at 23 and one was at 26. Not bad overall. Yeah, between us we have a 75% warp cell. Uh, debris field is coming back. That's okay, I am on board. 
That's perfectly timed. Okay, I'm just gonna want... shut the door. Yeah, do you want to close her up and repressurize us? <laughs> no, I can't do that while holding something. Um... I've got it. Okay. I come bearing lots of gifts. <laughs> Nivlet says, shut the door and go, <laughs> while you're on the way back. <laughs> Thank you, Nivlet. <laughs> no, this episode is all about companionship, not about being Betrayal. a sausage. There we go. I have put the basketball hoop up. Excellent. I've got a couple would of posters like a as well. I would not like a cup. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a cup. I'm just going to re-log because I'm wearing three backpacks at present. Ah. <laughs> if you drag something into a spot that is pre that has something pre-existing in it, it's going to it's causing issues at present. Oh. Okay. Note to self. Be careful of that. It's possible, Draconian. That is possible. Uh, mine is about six. Because Virgin Media apparently suck on the upload. Uh, well, what happens with Virgin Media is they have something called throttling. Um, and what throttle throttling... Then. Yeah, what throttling does... Should we go back upstairs and uh, move on? Yeah. Oh, let me turn my light off and take my helmet off. I'm stuck. Anyway, continue. Well, what, what throttling effectively does is after you've uploaded a certain amount of data at your maximum speed, it then brings the speed right down. Uh, it never limits your download speed, but it does limit your upload speed. That's why I moved away from Virgin Broadband. I should have stuck, stuck with John Lewis. Well, John Lewis is BT, effectively. Surprisingly, no. I had uh, one of the fastest downloads in the town that I live in. Well, it is it is on the open reach network, which is BT. Well, yeah. I used to work for John Lewis, and I now work for the communications ombudsman. I've got a fairly good idea. <laughs> oh yeah, but their upload was like a consistent twenty meg, and download was like a consistent sixty five. Let's take a look what we got. There's quite a few derelicts. Uh, CLM, LSM. Nothing terribly exciting, if I'm honest. We'll go and have a look at some of these. Oh my, that's not where we want to go. Will that take us through the planet? No, no, it wouldn't. Oh. oh my. Well, that would be okay, but with that puts us right in the debris field. I don't want that. We'll have something outside the debris field, ideally. Indeed. Only two derelicts there. That's going right into the debris field. So currently, my upload is 4.3. And that's while streaming. I think mine's six. So. And I'm streaming at 720, so Seven that uses there. about four meg. We'll say I get, a, on average, about nine. Which is quite the jump from uh, 20. Do you want to chance the debris storm? It's up to you, I'm not fussed. I mean, remember what happened last time, we chanced a debris storm. Yeah, it was exciting, let's do it. <laughs> it's going to be one of us staying behind in the ship, of course. Dibs, not me. Right. That, puts, that puts you in greater danger. Oh, Firestorm, thank you so much for the donation, that's really kind of you. You've been funded two dollars. Oh, that's lovely. I don't know what that is in the exchange rate, but still. 
There we go. It's the thought that matters. Am I going to raid some people today? Um, I'm not sure. It's it's possible that we will if we find. If we uh, can find Jeremy's base again. <laughs> I feel so bad about that. Um, he found it funny. He did. He did. Fortunately, uh, show me one of the developers. Um, he, he found it quite amusing that I raided him. He said, "That's it. I'm rolling back the server and destroying your base." <laughs> Hello, overseer. How are you today? About one pound thirty. You can buy a loaf of bread for that. Sounds delicious. I haven't had bread for a little while. I've been trying to... Uh, oh uh, yes, you're on a diet, aren't you? A little bit, yes. Uh, How's that been going? Uh, I mean, you know, fine, actually, I, I would say. Good. But we're about a kilometre off. We are taking a pasting already. Of course we are. That's, that's kind of our thing. <laughs> right, let me get you as close as possible to these two. Do you want to get downstairs and depressurise? <sighs> Honestly, probably not, but I'm on my way. All right, bud. From here to hell. Yeah, I'm going to get you as close as I can. If something terrible happens, I'll remember you. <laughs> 200 meters off. Oh, I do like the now rotating oxygen bar on the airlock controls. Because that used to just jump. It did. It looks so pretty. Everything looks so pretty now. Alright, we're as close as I can reasonably get you. I'm just going to retract our solar panels so they don't get destroyed. Right, solar panels are retracted. Good. Uh, I'm going to heal anything that I can. Oh. Whoa, that was a big bit. Go, 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 God, I wish they had mag boots. They might in the future. I don't know what the plan is for that. We'll find out, I'm sure. Most definitely. I think we just took an absolute pasting. Uh, well, the Torazial is moving away slightly, but that could be because this is moving or the ship's moving. Still at 93 integrity. We're fine. Are you finding anything decent? I'm not finding anything at all. Hmm. Okay, that's not how things are supposed to happen. Okay. We just, uh, took, we, we just derelict took over here. I was in just got smacked, and I got smacked right out of it. Are you alive? Oh, I'm fine. However, I'm slightly disconcerted by that. <laughs> Alright, is there anything in this one? I'm going to try and get back over to you. We're 86% now. I hate to tell you this, Captain, but there's bugger all here. Alright, get back to the ship. Looks like someone's been here already. Alright, get back to the ship, we'll go elsewhere. That'd be great if I knew where the ship was. Pretty close. Oh, I see it. Holy! Uh, part of an abandoned debris station just flew past. Normally I'm not that squeamish, but when there are literally derelicts flying past my face, that, that concerns me slightly. Alright, I'm on board. Punch it. Alright, I'm gonna zoom out. Where's broken marble? Add a custom orbit. Quite close in. That 
should keep us just about out of the debris field. Sounds good. Should. We have got 85% hull. Server will restart in 30 minutes. Speed is too low for that. That looks about right. Ooh. A new poster. And a new poster slot. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay, we are... Uh, we're angling. We've got 22 seconds until warp. Which is a good thing, because there's a great deal of debris around. Oh my, that might hit us. Looks like we got away with that. 83% hull. Uh, We're out of here. I don't know why the damage is happening. Uh, Yoint Mayher. My apologies. I, I probably massacred your name there. and I, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, says, if something ter terrible happens, it's Hellion. Mm. I mean, he's not wrong. Wouldn't when something terrible happens be more accurate? Probably. Uh, not if. When. Have you ever thought of doing Stellaris, Star Wars, or Space Engineers? Yes, in fact, um, I've done a little bit of Stellaris before. I enjoy Stellaris. It's a, it's an enjoy. It's a good game. I'm kind of holding off a little bit, kind of holding my breath with Stellaris because there's the Fall of the Republic mod, which is in the process of being worked on. And I'm excited about that. It's a total conversion into Star Wars, uh, made by the same team plus additions made New as, Horizons. as New Horizons. Yes. So they're working with Star Wars Galaxies. No. No, no. Uh, but there's a, there's a team that was making another Star Wars mod, and they've kind of joined forces. So that's going to be really exciting. I'm more than likely to do a playthrough once they've got into a playable state. There. Uh, Space Engineers. We've played a little bit, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Oh, Owen, of course. Okay. Thank you so much, Owen. Yes, we played some Space Engineers. Well, actually, I played Space Engineers and you just screwed with me. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> so nothing new there. Got a couple of minutes still in warp, so I'm going to get out of the captain's seat. Hooray! Keep her warm if you want. Yay! Let's just take a look. Doesn't appear to be any damage to the major systems. No, it seems like it's external. Yeah, there's probably something up there. I'm just going to go into the belly. See okay. if there's any damage down here. Whoa! It looks like we're pretty okay. Yeah, still got full uh, full integrity. I'll be way back up. There are seven planets in the Hellion system. Well, hey, Winter Wolf, how are you today? Eight if you include the sun. Star Wars mod they're working on does have some fantastic models, I fully agree. Uh, there are elements of concern that I have, because I, I think they're using some of the burn... Uh, is it burn strobe? Um, uh, I can't remember. But they, uh, some of the models I've seen are very high poly models. Uh, that always raises a little note of concern in me, because uh, Stellaris is, of course, a 32-bit application, not 64-bit. And as such, I wonder if it'll it'll struggle a little bit to have a lot of similar models on screen at once of that quality. But we'll have to see, won't we? Um, it may well not do, uh, because I do know that Stellaris handles, if you if you want to call it handles, it does handle models a little bit more sympathetically than Sins of a Solar Empire does. So it is possible that you can have higher poly and higher detail models without such a performance impact. We'll see, won't we? We will absolutely see. And I can't wait to see. Uh, yeah, I have considered doing a Space Engineers uh, survival playthrough. It's certainly something that I've thought about. Um, I think a lot of the time I'd probably more of it. I'd probably be more of an impediment to my team 
than oh, yes. a benefit. Um, when I get into Space Engineers, I suddenly become Tazu. Uh, if you don't know who Tazu is, uh, watch some of Last Time Gamer's older content. Uh, he likes I, to screw around. I destroy as much as I build. So, oh, hello, that was a debris. If I remember correctly, Tazu built a uh, rail gun specifically designed for launching Sage into a mine. That sounds about right. Okay, since you're in the uh, in the captain's chair, do you want to do a scan? Yeah, I'm already on it. Looks like uh, we're in a mild debris storm. I'm not concerned about it. Is three derelicts that are not in the debris storm. <laughs> Draconian says, "Just remember, girl, you can't do space engineers with Shaq." Uh, no, he's not allowed. In fact, I, t I tell this story a lot, don't I? I? I don't know how we always get back round to this. Uh, a long time ago, when Shaq was doing his original um, survival series uh, with Altair and Unveiled for, I... And Tabby. I'm Tabby, of course. Uh, I got home drunk from uh, an escapade. <laughs> and uh, Shaq said, oh, why don't, why, why don't you... We're, we're prepping for the next episode. Why don't you come on and help us? Uh, so I, I got into their building if you like uh, I, I got into their server and I proceeded to just Great. absolutely decimate everything that I touched um, in fact we, we spoke about it fairly recently said I was still finding debris about two weeks later <laughs> 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 sorry Shaq so uh, drinking and space engineers could be a, could be a very interesting combination I think Veil for managed it somehow That's true. He's got more experience than me, though, I think. <laughs> well, he was in, uh... Whether yeah, that's or... in Space Engineers or drinking, you can decide, chap. Yeah, he was in the Air Force with Shaq, weren't he? That's where they met. I think that's possible, yeah. I think Alti is related to Shaq. I th think he's his cousin. Mm. I'm not certain, though. What are we going towards? Uh, three derelicts. Alright. Is it my turn to face death? Uh, well, considering I did it last time, yeah. Alright, you got it. I'm gonna put my gun away. And the ammo. Have you noticed that the, uh, the... What do we call this thing? The Rotary Wheel of Doom. The Rotary Wheel of Doom? Yes, the Rotary... What the trade is? No, no, no. Uh, your radial menu. Oh, right, yeah. That seems blurrier to me suddenly. Hmm. I'll have to have a closer look at it, because I've not actually spent much time looking at it. All right, I'm depressurizing. I'll get us as close as I can. I was doing some math the other night when I couldn't <laughs> sleep. Right. Like you do. Um, and <laughs> Winter says, coupled with the green screen, that vapor looks like the old 1980s uh, smoke effect. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to um, do Space Engineers, do a scavenger series. Oh, that might be really fun, Winter. Echo Winter, I should say. We've got Winter Wolf and Echo Winter, so. Uh, oh, God. Or should I call so you Senator? Winters. What would you prefer? Senator Echo Winter. Would you prefer to be called Senator or Echo Winter? Okay, how close are we? Uh, a couple of hundred meters. Uh, oh, slow down. Slow I down. know what I'm doing. Take though. it easy, boss. Take it easy. Right, I'm rolling. And we're matched. I expect fully to die here. Well, I got us as close as we could. You had a little hissy fit. <laughs> Who, me? Yes, you. Nah. Alright, it doesn't look like there's a lot of stuff here. I wonder if the loot tables are broken. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any stuff, in fact. That was what it was like at the other one as well. Okay. Holy shit, incoming! How close? Very. 
I can see you, and I can also see the friggin' flying bits of derelict. Nothing to worry about. We're fine. We're fine. We're upside down. We're upside down fine. Oh, no, we're more upside down than we were before. And by that I mean we were the right way up. What are you on about? There is no up in space. In space! But no, bringing me back to my math that I was doing. Ah, yes. Um, in Andromeda, they travel, uh, their unit of travel is PSL. Right. Which stands for Percentage of Speed of Light. And Andromeda is clocked as her highest possible speed being 90 PSL. Which means she's travelling at 270,000 meters a second. I may die here. I'm going to go for the other derelict. Well, that's 300 meters away. Why didn't you just get on board and I would have took you over there? It's but fine. I'm a man. And I looked it up and the um, International Space Station... Okay, we're going to go with Senator so I don't get confused. <laughs> The International Space Station that obviously orbits the planet is probably the fastest moving man-made structure that we have, or the fastest moving man-made thing at all. I mean, even rail guns only travel at about 200 or 2,000 meters a second or so. Zero loot. The International Space Station travels at nearly 0.5 PSL. So Andromeda even travelling at 1 PSL would be moving twice as fast as the International Space Station. Rolling in. Fast! Oh lord, too fast! Oh! I'm in. Going to the ship. Yep. Why didn't you say something? I would have stopped. <laughs> Is I there nothing there? Have... No, absolutely nothing. Got some blood on my screen. Let's try and rectify that. There we are. Uh, Repressurising. Okay. okay. Looks like derelicts aren't what we want to do here. This is. It would seem so. A bit unfortunate, there is... really. And there's the Taurus the Owl. That's us. Where are we? Draconian um... says, "I know Bane's doing it at the moment, but would you consider doing a Subnautica series?" You brought this up this morning. <laughs> it was well, yeah, we did speak about it briefly. Um, but I think Draconian at, has gone at to bed some point, point, certainly. Uh, not while Bane's doing a series. It wouldn't be fair or reasonable for me to do so. And while Shaq's doing a series. Well, Shaq, well, uh, Shaq isn't quite so closely associated with me, so that's not uh, <laughs> that's not something I'm concerned about. But I want to do everything that I can to support Bane's channel. Yeah. He's almost reached 700 subs. Yeah, he's doing well. He's doing very well. He's doing better than me. Okay, do you want to try going to the... There's a military outpost orbiting... Let's, let's go and take planet. a look at it. Uh, I think I it's probably got loads of way. turrets on it, which worries me a lot, but... Uh, unfortunately, we can't get there without going through the Oh, planet. hey, look, Bane's here, actually. Hey, Bane. Oh, hey, Bane. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, we can't get to that military outpost without going through the planet. Let's not go through the planet. Jump. Let's definitely not go through the planet. Uh, yeah, we're not opening hyperspace windows. Should we go to? Oh, Everest Station is a bloody long way away. How far if I set a custom? Orbit. No, that. Right, guys, anybody who's watching right now, uh, I, I don't think there are too many of you watching, but uh, anybody who is, if you're not already subscribed to, uh, to Bane, make sure you go ahead and do so. And to me, please. <laughs> and, and to Viking, yes, indeed. He's suffering a little bit. Click, 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 click. 
Oh, we've got a hull breach. All right, I'm shutting her off. Any idea where that is? Not a bloody clue. Uh, server will restart in 15 minutes. Oh god, it's all going wrong. <laughs> All right, looks like the breach is down here somewhere. In the cargo bay. Seems that way. Although I can't see it. Hull breach is on the main deck. That means it'll be on the top of the ship. Ah, oh, damn. I'm going to depressurize the main deck so we don't lose too much oxygen. You're, you're depressurizing now, eh? Yep. Ceiling are up. Have you shut the bridge off? Yep. You've got your helmet on, right? Yep. It seems like the helmet is a bit buggy. Alright, we're good. Okay, on my way outside. Yeah, it's a whole breach. I can't see where the breach is. Uh, well, it's definitely there. It'll be by the airlock, I would have thought. Usually it's on top, but it doesn't appear to be this time. I think I found it. Oh, okay, good. Looks like they've got some new damage locations. Oh, lovely. More to learn. Okay, can you tell me what the, uh, the health of the ship is? 81%, still coming up with a breach warning. Looks like I'm not seeing everything that I should be able to see here. Hold on, I'll come out. Well, it's definitely on the main. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a super quick the... relog because it looks like not everything's rendered in for me. Mm, yeah, it's definitely on the main deck because it's not indicating the bridge or anything. Senator Echo Winter says, would you mind doing a shout out to Intrepid Dawn? Yeah, uh, in fact, I was uh, I was on his channel a little bit earlier on. In, uh, check out Intrepid Dawn on YouTube. In fact, I think oh, yeah. he does Twitch as well, doesn't he? Yes, he does. You may know him as Tim Katam. Yeah, I can see the things that aren't loading in properly. Well, I can't. I can see that they're not loaded in properly. Okay, right. I've just come back. All right, I can see it. I can see the breach. Okay, good, good. We're closing her up. I'll breach the sealed. I definitely think we should, Ben. I agree with you there. Uh, angels fall first. I think that's a great idea. Right, looks like we've got a problem with the solar panels as well. Let me just try and rectify that. Right on that. How's the ship's hull? 97%, 98, 99, 100. She's back to full strength. Excellent. Okay. On my way back in. I'm going to repressurize the main deck. Okie dokie. Alright, good save there. Nice depressurization. That was so cool. <laughs> that was so sci fi. Okay, would you mind turning the air generator on? Oh, is it not on? I think it might oh, need no, to be on for not. just a little while. Air generator on, so it's filling up the air tank now. Because we lost some air, obviously. We did, just a smidge. Yeah, Are we fully so pressurised in there? Pressurize. Yep. Alright, we can turn the air generator back off now then. Uh, hold on, let me just fully repressurize everything. And then once everything is fully repressurized, I'll turn it back off. I'd advise leaving the filters on, though, of course. Yeah, and then we'll have uh, full oxygen. There we go. Air quality's okay. That was so fucking cool. That was indeed flipping cool. Sealing off the affected area. It's a very large hole not to load in. Yes, it was. Uh, so, is the next official community match, or do you have others planned? 
you know, we haven't really got much planned at the moment. I think because uh, because Bane so recently kind of moved on to his own channel, we haven't worked out exactly how we want to do community matches yet. And I think that's uh, perhaps I'll talk with Bane about that this afternoon, and we'll try and organise a community uh, shindig. Yeah, sounds good. Would you consider an intrepid Dawn an ally? Absolutely. Well, we we've played games with him before. Um, Hope you consider me an ally. Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look at Everest. That's what I was then trying to set up when we got the whole breach. Oh yes, uh, Bane. Uh, I believe last night, well, this morning I suppose, Corey was talking about a beta for ICW 2.2. Do you know anything about that? Uh, me? Yes. You do. In fact, I think both Bane and I are using the test version of 2.2 in, ah. in series. Is, 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 is. Hey, Fran, how you doing? Open beta phase has begun. Ooh, how do I get access to it? <laughs> I believe you have to be on the uh, forums. Ah, okay. Or at least that's oh, how it was before. I may be wrong. Screen. Check out the news. Uh, th there's going to be some news either on the mod DB or on the forums themselves. Ah, uh, they're worried that I uh, ICW has the EAW save bug. I think uh. they got rid of it, but uh, there has been some question as to whether it might have returned. So. That damn seam down the middle of the hyper. You need to be on the forums and be prepared to give feedback. Okay. There we go. The uh, open battle dragons are shit, but their fighters are insane. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not, I had 13 battle dragons. And I was going up against. I'll see you later, um, Senator. I was going up against their fleet. My dogs have decided to go mental. Calm yourselves, doggies. That ah, it. That. Ah. Thank you. All right, Senator. I'll talk to you later, my man. Depending on whether we can find any loot, uh, we, we may not be. Uh, we may not be continuing for much longer with this particular stream. Cheers, Bane. Thank you. I think you're a moderator, Bane, so I think you're able to... Uh... Uh, no, he's a subscriber in Twitch Prime. He's not been made a moderator in uh, Twitch, anyway. Let me fix that. He should absolutely be one of my moderators. Most definitely. I don't know how to do it, though. Oh, here we go. Boop. There you go. You can post any links that you need to now, Bane. But, um... I had uh, like 13 Hapen Battle Dragons going up against a huge fleet and uh, they all got mullered but the fighters then managed to take down three ISD2s, three Secutors and the remnants of the fleet that was left over. <laughs> so Hapen fighters are strong. Uh, Fran, they are. Uh, Fran is asking, how's the progress on, on the second mod going? So, uh, the second mod, I, I presume, is Ages of the Federation. Yeah, I suppose. Pretty good, actually. I, I think we made a little bit of progress recently. Both uh, Bane is doing a weekly stream, uh, showing him do a bit of the coding for it. So he's working on it as he speaks to you guys on a Tuesday. Make sure you sign up to his channel. Uh, it's uh, YouTube forward slash Bane and Bros, and indeed Twitch as well forward slash Bane and Bros. Make sure. Oh, hello. Uh, but make okay. sure that you uh, you subscribe to him, and you'll be able to see uh, the coding happen in action. And I'm doing the same thing on Wednesday, uh, just to make sure that I don't overwrite any of Bane's work. <laughs> you want you want to you want a lap dance? No. <laughs> <coughs> I'm too old. Me tick me ticker and uh, pack in. You're fighting around with Exile modded server in armor. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. What kind of trouble are you having with it from? People. <laughs> People tend to be troublesome in exile. Tell me about it. Server will restart in five minutes. We've got three minutes until we warp to where we're going, so... Warp core breach in progress. No! Possibly. Although I think everything's fine at the moment. Yeah, everything's fine. That seam down the middle of the hyperspace texture is still... Ah, it bugs the hell out of me. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating, isn't it? I think the main problem that it shows up so much is the texture isn't lined up properly. Oh, it's very marginally to the right, you mean? I, I don't know about very marginally to the right, but I think one side is a little higher than the other. It's Yeah, it's plausible that it might be, or it may, it may just be the effect of the texture. Of course you can, Brian. You can ask away. If it's something I can answer, I will certainly do so. Uh, obviously it says, so my guess with Hellion is that you can't create an individual server of sorts. Oh yeah, you can. I think you can host a uh, server on a local machine. I do believe but you can. But obviously you can't do the experimental build on that server, no, I don't think. No, no. Um, but it wouldn't surprise me if they uh, if they don't release this one before too long. Because uh, it appears a lot of the improvements that they've been intending are working. For example, you you haven't suddenly disappeared to outside the ship when you were in it. As this was is true. The, the helmet thing seems to be a bit of an issue. Menu is closing instantly if I open configurations or virtual garage. I can't find the issue. Uh, are you using something like uh, Infinistar anti-cheat, Bran? If you are, then may, it may be that you need to place an exception in the uh, SQF file. Oh, hi. <laughs> they also need to fix your face. My face is just right. Uh, well, it's not the... It's the dead male character, the bald one, and he is also reflecting more light than the sun itself. I'm reflecting exactly the amount of light that I want to reflect. It's because I'm just that way. I'm, I'm holy, you see. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> You'd have to set it up overseer in the same way that you would set a server up, I believe. But you, I mean, I, I think any ser any game which has uh, a server side files, it can be hosted on a local machine. If you've got the RAM for it, like you could technically do it with Rust. You could do it with Exile. You, you could do it with any number of things. Um, it's often though easier to pay someone else to host it for you, and then uh, you unless you've got a proper server nest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe uh, Infinistar does often stop you going into your configurations menu. So it may be something to do with that. Uh, or do you have a different type of anti-cheat, Fran? Oof. Which flew through a debris field. Uh, Fran was wondering about the Romulan faction. Uh, there's not much different Romulan ships in TOS or Enterprise, so I'm wondering how you plan to create ships and bases of them. Uh, well, there's, there's a lot of stuff in FASA uh, that we've been able to use, and also the Starfleet Museum. So uh, we'll be using both of those as inspiration, and we'll also be coming up with our own designs. Um, one, thing that, thing that. one thing that we never wanted to be was uh, restricted only to canon. Uh, we wanted to kind of forge our own path, if you, if you would like. So you could say that you're in a reflective mood. Thank you, Fireborn. That was lovely. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that is magnificent. It's magnificent. <laughs> I love puns. I absolutely adore puns. <laughs> Server restarts in 45 seconds. Yeah, I see it. Let's just stop the ship. That might be a good idea. That looks like two PSMs and two so light support modules, okay. meaning that power let's, and likely to Let's log ourselves out. In fact, I need to get out of this chair, otherwise I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, log it.
the magnificent reflection. Well, you're not the server owner of the armor server, so I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably because of Infistar. Uh, I can understand why it might not want to let you into configurations. If it's got a particular um, setting that it wants to maintain, for example, grass settings, uh, and it doesn't want to let you change those, it might not let you into configurations if it wants to maintain a particular view distance for all of its players in order to ensure that things are on an equal footing, it might not let you into configurations. Uh, with regards to the virtual garage, that's a bit of an issue and I would certainly contact the server owner. Oh, fire spawn is... <laughs> well, you might say that he's on fire. Hey! Uh, he says, it's always good to make light of a situation. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Ten points to Gryffindor. Yeah, huh? What? You don't like puns? You get under a rock. Puns are magnificent. I get enough puns off of you. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, will the drone enterprise, uh, enterprise which flew by the White Andorian? Uh, be a part of it. That isn't our intent, no. We felt, in Enterprise particularly, that the uh, the drone, the Romulan drone item, we felt that was too advanced for the time period and we thought it was more of a plot piece. Um, the puns intensify. Uh, then, Let's back up. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, we, we felt that it was more of a plot piece than it was accurate to the time period. And as such, we decided not to include that in the mod. I know a lot of people might like to see it, but oh, apparently... Oh, here we go. Boop. Boop. I'm going to pick us in close. Something quite concerning appears to be happening. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, thank God it's you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> I thought we were just careening towards the station. Oh my lord, that was terrifying. Absolutely and utterly terrifying. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Never do, do, don't do that to me again. Don't, don't do that to me again. That was brilliant. Oh. Your reaction. Oh. My what now? Your reaction. I'm quite sure that you said erection first. <laughs> oh dear, we've both gone insane. <laughs> I can't see any turrets on the outside of this, so that, that bodes well. Uh, yes, I've, I've run a couple of uh, armor servers in the past. Oh my! I, I got me. I got me right here. <laughs> Neo ticker can't take it. <laughs> Can somebody clip that, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh. A line of <laughs> And all the bricks were shat, indeed so. <laughs> Are we allowed to go yet? Come on. Loot! What go then? <laughs> Loot! You're doing a lot of faff in here. I'll faff you in a minute. <laughs> uh, Fran asks, do I play... Uh, do you know, I've had a lot of people ask me about Star Citizen... <laughs> words. Uh, about Star Citizen the last day or two. Do you know, I haven't played any Star Citizen at all. I've been following I it very closely. Uh, yeah, but if I... they uh, didn't charge like 60 quid for a ship. Well, they don't. There are there are cheaper variants, of course, but uh, um, it's just I haven't been ready to back it. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, you pushed me. You having issues with you... life at the moment? <laughs> you pushed me. <laughs> right, let's bring that down there. Put that. Up I there. did not smash the ship into the station. Shush your mush. I'm a good pilot. It took several... Okay, it took like 30 hours for me to become a good pilot, but I did in the end. Are you ready, Viking? I'm just looking at this picture on the side of this thing. 
Go with grass ever eating tish tosh. Viking! Here! Uh, what? <laughs> oh, hold on. Always secure the ship. Uh, wobble, 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 wobble. And then in comes the base. Wobble base, wobble base. <laughs> it's been absolutely ages since I've heard that. Wobble, wobble, <laughs> wobble base. And bang! It overpowers everything. <laughs> I like the base, base, base. The buttery biscuit base. <laughs> right, depressurizing. <laughs> Helmet's on. I think we've lost our minds. The space madness has set in. You see, we talk about companionship helping your state of mind, or potentially helping your state <laughs> of mind, whereas in actual fact, having Viking on the ship has had totally the opposite effect on me. <laughs> He's gone insane and almost had a heart attack. Tita <laughs> uh, Taylor says, is this game any good now? Is it worth playing? I would say yes. Um, I have 129 hours in total on it. There you go, Vikings got 129 hours of it. <laughs> we can't take much more of these memes, Captain. <laughs> oh, not bad bit of parking if I do say so myself. Terrible. Shut up. I could get us closer, but you would have a little... A little bit of wee would come out. Only a little bit. Well, I'm not dead, so that... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I would say this game is worth getting, but do be aware that you are supporting an in-development game. So don't think that everything is going to work perfectly all the time straight off the bat. There are issues. <laughs> the, the, a lot of the issues have been uh, worked out, actually. There was a hell of a lot more than this when uh, we first started playing. And, and some of the time it was, uh, ooh, some of the time it was uh, just every Unplayable. couple of minutes re-logging. Which way did you go? I went underneath the stairs. Uh, what we got? Uh, a catalyst. Blue Excellent. quality. Ooh, very nice. Which way do you go? Uh, I went to the right once you've been through the main door. Alright, yeah, I see you. Yeah. I'll go straight on then. Alright, but couple more blue quality resource injectors. Alright, so we've got two uh, Proteus EVA bodies. We just need two helmets. And jetpacks. Ooh, 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 ooh. I found both. I found everything. Okay, looks like we've got Protei. We have one at least. Uh, now I just need to find another helmet. Uh, oh, excellent. What the hell, bird? Bird? That is not my bird. Such a noise. Yeah, because that worked. Mom! Mom! Okay, I've got three core containment generators now. Got a lot of uh, electronics here. Okay, I'm gonna open. Go. I'm gonna open the side doors so we can uh, ferry things. Okie dokie. Ooh, another blue core containment unit. I've I've already got three of those. Well, I've got another one. <laughs> me, me, me. <laughs> me, me, me. Let's see what we've got in the cargo. Uh, there's a bunch of helium three, which is actually very good for us. So let's. Uh, uh, what we'll do is we'll grab this. That's got the least, I think. Yeah. Shove it there. Uh, and what we'll be able to do is drag this Helium 3 into it. It's not the birds, it's the dogs. So if we drag this here, oop, go to the attach point, and then drag it back here. Bam. Now that's... I live in a zoo. Yes, you do. Not a bloody quiet one. No, it's not. Well, that's unrefined.
Okay, I've got a lot of hydrogen and helium-3. Ooh, actually, hydrogen might be very useful. Let's... Whoops. Put the hydro... It puts the hydrogen on its skin. <laughs> and, and that's what? Or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> okay, I don't want to bother you too much with Armit in this stream. Uh, can I contact you about it on a different way? Yeah, you can join our Discord. Um, there should be a link to our Discord in the description, so uh, feel free to join our Discord and you can uh, just talk about it in there if you need to. Hello, I can see that you're your own. I am. I'm emptying out before I go back and get more Proteus stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what's this got in it? More Helium 3, which we don't need. Love it. Um. Oh my resources! What the bleed neck? What? Uh, there's a relocation issue. I'm having an issue an right issue. here with these goddamn resource injectors. With these gosh darn resource injectors. Damn straight. <laughs> so I'm, I'm teaching. Uh... I'm teaching Viking how to not swear. It's slow like a, going. It's it's a slow process. There we go. Boop. Oh, very good. Uh... <laughs> Booped the resource containers. Oh, oh my. Oh dear. Oh. Oh fudge cakes. Yee beep 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 beep. Okay, I'm just going to drop these core containment generators on the floor because we're probably going to want to recycle them at some point. We have enough of them, apparently. Do we actually use EM field controllers? Uh, we use... No. I don't believe so. Oh, well. I could be wrong. It is a silly game. So. Some batteries. Like, uh, we're actually pulling back. Alliance with the demand. Huh. We don't need more. Grab the scrapper electronics. We'll be fine. I don't even know where they are. Uh, in one of the cargo bays. On the side okay, well, I'm going to go get the Proteus suits first. Okay. See if I can't locate another helmet. I think perhaps that's a good idea. I'm going to move all of our spare stuff into the corner. <laughs> because I think recycling is, you know, it's a positive step. Most definitely. Oh wait, those aren't Proteus jetpacks. God damn it. So you fly around and scavenge other places. Yes, you can also grab uh, bits of bases in order to build your own base as well. So that, that's quite an exciting part of it and hopefully we'll be able to do that today. Right, you're concentrating on the Protei, correct? The Proteus, yeah, yes. Well, I've got the suit and a helmet, now we just need a jetpack. I thought those were jetpacks, but instead they were location issues. Hitboxes being slightly too big. Uh, crouch. Yeah, once I did crouch, I realised that they were normal jetpacks. But we are in a debris storm. And I found a Proteus jetpack. Excellent. So we have a protei. Well, you wear it. It's fine. Are you sure? Yep. Ladies first. I mean, I'm not well, I'd have to repressurize to get changed in my so. Well, we'll do that in a bit then. You just want to see me in my underwear. That is uh, not the case. <laughs> Look, I've spent a hundred years in cryo, okay? It's... Yeah, they're going to be a bit crusty by now. Why would we want to see that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Dirty boy. I've got a Proteus chest piece here, so I'll pop that there. I've got a couple of stunt. 
standard jetpacks as well. Uh, which we're swiftly running out of space. Oh, crikey, you're right, we do have enough battery. Do you know what? I'm going to put the uh, spare jetpacks on the floor there, uh, along with everything else. <laughs> everything goes on the floor. We do seem utterly unconcerned about the fact that uh, there are, we're in the debris storm, don't we? Mm-hmm. It, it has taken a long time to get to this state of not caring. So there's a bit of crafting? Yes, there is. Uh, there is now. Recycling and crafting. That's quite a new addition to the game. It is indeed. -o. And it's one that we is like. Is the fabricator done? Fabricator is done. It's in the game. It's ready to rock and roll. Hopefully we'll be able to find one. That'd be good. Have they fixed the clipping issue on the 3D printer? <laughs> I uh, should hope so. I'm saying yes, but I'm thinking no. <laughs> I'm hoping no. <laughs> that was entertaining. Wow, your community's big on Discord. It is, uh, and that's one of the useful things about our community. So feel free to I explore, uh, talk to people, members. get in general chat, have a word with people, because there are going to be a lot of people who've got the skills that you're looking for, uh, particularly with regards to Hellion servers. Hellion? No, uh, armor. Oh, hello. Hello. Take the Proteus suit. I'm doing stuff. Do stuff faster. <laughs> Absolutely gonna punch you. <laughs> Can you remember the key to punch me? I said punt. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kick me? Oh, okay. This Nitro, don't really need any. That's rude. Well, I try my best to be. <laughs> I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Most definitely. Overseer says he's tempted to purchase it. Well, I mean, it's not going to harm you to wait either. I mean, that's something to be aware of. I have located more catalysts or containment things. Well, do you know what? We'll grab them because we can recycle later. True. Very true. D d you pushed me. Yeah. How very de- Ooh, crowbar! Crowbar. I can be good at framing. Oh my. <laughs> Ooh, two more servers. Two nom, more nom, nom 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 nom. <laughs> it's this one. Oxygen, oxygen. Good. Yep, yeah, we need some more of that. Always handy. Oh, some electronic components. I just... What's in this? No helium. A little bit of nitro. We don't need that. There's 2k air in the LSM that we could have. Do you want me to grapple the ship up? Uh, I don't think we're able to grapple the ship up. But what we can do is we can use uh, refined... Can I... Wrong door. <laughs> I'm just opening them all. Uh, <laughs> let me just check if I can use a refined canister to stick air in. Uh, you can, I think. Well, we used to be able to, but can we now? I haven't a clue. We can't anymore, I'm afraid. Um. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gull has punched someone to death in this game. Yeah, it was me. Where are all these fried electronics going? Anyway, you can fit them, my friend. Don't tempt me. So lewd. <laughs> How lewd! <clears throat> that sounded strenuous. It was. I was, str I was straining. You know what, I'm just going to lob the electronics on the floor as well. I think they might have made the... Uh, hitboxes on things just a little bit 
too yeah, big. Yeah, I'm, I'm experiencing that as well. It's not ideal, is it? No. Oh, fuck. Flip's sake. Always something. Oxygen's becoming a bit of a... <gasps> there we go. I managed to get them in. Yeah, I'm having some issues with oxygen. What the hell is this? What the heck is this? You've made a pile of stuff. Oh, that's my loot pile. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of judging. You would do. Because I'm judging you. It's not very fair, is it? <laughs> right, let's get what we can uh, and get out of here. And we'll see if we can find one of those fabricator stations. That'd be nice. Uh, we'll probably need a PSM to run it, though, which is a power supply module, of course. Most likely. I'm not saying that for your benefit. I know you know what a power mo supply module is. I'm just... Uh... I do indeed. But thank you, anyway. <laughs> it's, it's for the viewer's benefit, of course. I enjoy being kept in the loop. Okay, uh, got another body here for a... <laughs> I just killed him. Uh... <laughs> well, you know me. Uh... <laughs> for a Proteus suit. Proteus suit. I think we've got like four bodies for a prote Proteus suit, now, haven't we? Yeah, but only one helmet and one back. Well, that's something that we'll be able to sort out in the future. Right, let's see what we can do here, oxygen-wise. Boop. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going oh to have to Oh god, Niblets just sent a pun. Hey, I like puns. What the hellion is this? <laughs> Magnificent. Actually, that could be a good uh, title for a sort of like... A... An explanation video. Yeah, what the hellion is this? Well, you know me, I like my titles of videos to be punny. My stream is marked as Star Citizen. Uh -huh. I have no clue as to why that might be. And I do apologise for misleading anybody. Are we done raiding this place? I believe so. Cool. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> As it just sadly falls to the floor. Hang on, just need to enlarge upon the loot pile. Oh, for goodness sake. The loot, look, loot pile is love, loot pile is life. Okay, so we need two servos. You're uh, not putting things on the loot pile, and they're now also going onto the shelf. Injectors, a catalyst. <laughs> Well, if you can get things into the uh, into the shell variant, then feel free to do so. I'm getting changed. You may do that first, I suppose. Bird! I hate my life. <laughs> okay. Thanks for telling me, Fran. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I certainly didn't denote a game. In fact, I purposely avoided denoting again. But there we are. Silliness happens, doesn't it? Boop, boop. Got another tier 2 servo motor here. Now we in. There we are. Resource injector. Oh, on a boop. Thing. There's one other resource injector. Sure. Yes, there it is. Tier 1. Tier two. So the ship is now improving. We're, we're getting a better ship out of this. Hooray! And I'm fully dressed. There we have it. But of course, what we're now going to do is we're going to add to the loot pile. Uh, I'm actually going to take the helmet off because it has a tinted visor and that makes me unhappy. Okay, so the best... Oh, Hi, uh... Oh, for... Mmm, loot. Mmm, loot. <laughs> Get out. Never! Sorry. 
If you want to organize the loot, I'll, I'll go and move it somewhere else. What am I supposed to do with this lot? I don't know, just put me kind of away. <laughs> go and try and find us a fabricator module or a PSM. <laughs> <laughs> you horrible human being. Oh, I don't think those sparks are a good sign. They're not too bad. We're still at 98% uh, hull integrity. Um, serious question. Are all the ships the same or are there different ones? There uh, are different types of ships. they're ship. all the same. Uh, there's one more uh, that is coming into the game very, very soon. Oh, yes. It's soon, but currently they're all the same. That's uh, the Stero? Stero, yeah. That will be coming soon. Uh, Fran says, I played on Thursday night, first time as the Dominion faction. This is in Star Trek Armada 3, I presume. And I really like what you've done with them. Uh, the buffs are awesome in these ships, uh, and their beams are great. Well, thank you so much, that's really nice of you. I appreciate that. Girl hates the Dominion, they abandoned him. What's an FMAC? Fabricator module. That'd do it. I believe that's what uh, Brillo told us it was. I can't wait to see the external texture. Because when we spawned it in, there was no uh, internet. <laughs> it was just a box of doom, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just a big box. We've got 27 seconds. <gasps> Actually, a fabricator module is really good because that means we'll be able to store more loot. Indeed. We if are going to need like a command are... module or something, though. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly, there are multiple boxes. There are some boxes, there are also nice shelves. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed that we haven't found a singularity core detonator yet. I'm not just any Cardassian. It's Koza, thank you so much for subscribing. That's really nice of you, my man. Hitosume Kozo. Uh, yeah. I think that's right. Tell me if I'm wrong. He's speaking Japanese now. I wish I could speak Japanese. It's a magnificent language. I will agree with you on that one. Ships don't currently have Daka, but they are, that is planned. That is supposed to be coming relatively soon, I believe. Mm. But we've arrived. Uh, you can PM me the link on Discord, uh, and I can pop it through. There's the fabricator module. Is it pretty? Looks alright. Looks like a module. It looks like a loot container. It certainly does. Right, so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to... The pile of loot has been cleaned up. Okay. It's now all neatly on shelves. Just to confirm that we we are in a debris field. Yeah, we're in a debris field. I think we're looking at the bum hole. <laughs> Don't think a station has a bum hole. Stations have bum holes. Okay. Are we upside down or the right way up? I can't bloody tell. Oh, there you go. You can tell. You can tell from the triangle of doom. From the triangle of doom. I'm making a real pig's ear of this docking procedure. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. So Draconian says, "Random question: What are everybody's thoughts on the new Pacific Rim film?" Oh my. It looks crap. <laughs> it's 4.14am in Australia and you're watching. You're an absolute trooper, my friend. 
Okay, we've grabbed the module. Uh, let's go to nav, let's do a quick scan. There's a power supply module over there. CBM. Oh no, that's the storage facility, of course it is. Uh, yes, cargo bay module. CRM, uh, I can't remember what C, uh, CBM, another CBM. Uh, uh, corridor module, right. Okay. Um, hmm. I think what we'll probably do is we'll zoom back to our home station. Which is very, very close to an asteroid. How close are we talking? Inside. Inside an asteroid? That's not a good thing. You're right. I don't think it is a good thing. Why is the FTL drive offline? I'm not worried. It's going to take us six minutes to get back, and it's going to use a fair old whack of power. Do what you have to. Just going to zoom back to my ship to make sure I'm not going through the planet. Nope, looks good. Still at 92% overall hull integrity. Shit. Take mushrooms. Nice save. <laughs> Thought you might like that one. Shiitake mushroom. What's not to like about shiitake mushrooms? True. Okay, right, we're having another go. I'll get to you in a moment, Draconian. I just want to get out of this debris field and then I can have a look at the chat. I'm so sorry. Initiate jump. Engage. Right, there you go. Jump is engaged. I just need to take a quick look at uh, Discord. Yeah, it does look like Star Citizen. That's bizarre, isn't it? Don't know why that's the case at all. Oh, there you go. Have a look, everyone. Sorry, fellas, just having a quick look at a couple of bits and bobs. Okay, that's fine. That is indeed strange. There we go. Hey, Tommy, um, how you doing, my man? YouTube doesn't know of Hellion, apparently. No, it's, it's bizarre, isn't it? Hmm. Mind you, YouTube seems to be lagging behind in so many ways uh, compared to other perhaps slightly more with its streaming gear services. Well, YouTube's a VOD place primarily, really. Well, nonetheless, I mean, even if it was a VOD, you should be able to input the game that you are playing, but uh, nope, apparently not. No, you get Turbo Hellion, which I'm not sure what that is. No, nor am I. I'll have a Google of it while we travel.
Oh, right. I wanted to take a look at um, okay. Draconian's questions as well. Uh, random question. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new Pacific Rim, uh, Rim? Uh, Rim film? I know what I'm trying to say. Um, entirely unfazed, if I'm honest. Uh, like, I, Pacific Rim was acceptable uh, as a visual spectacle, but I wasn't excited by it. Uh, it certainly didn't uh, transport my imagination anywhere. Um, so, not bothered, I think, is the answer to that draconian. Uh, and has anyone got any details on the new Star Trek film next year with the TNG guys in it? No, I haven't got any details whatsoever. I'll have to look that up. Uh, it appears to be a side-scrolling shooter. Turbo Hellion. Sounds fun. I've reached a play. It's got a free demo, I think. It's reminiscent of the old uh, side-scrolling space shooters. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So why it has that and not this Hellion, I don't know. Oh, cheers, Fran. I was like, if somebody talks to me about a picture, I like I like the entire chat to be able to see it as well. Uh, just because at least they know what we're on about then. <laughs> Try and be as Even if it's a goat. Even if it's a goat. With big old knackers. <laughs> ETA, two minutes, ten seconds. We're only at ninety-one percent health, so we should probably do something about that once we get there. We may warp into the asteroid, so we we could die here. Just I saying. embrace death. <laughs> Our life. Is glory to the founders. You're not just any Cardassian. <laughs> You're Golden Cut, leader of the Second Order. That was a great episode. It was. I would use my phasers to destroy their bridge. <laughs> Send them a message that they will not question. That may be how Cardassian do it. But not how we do things. I only saw a pic clip of it today where all the cast are saying, One more voyage. Oh, I'd love that. I would, I would adore that. I mean, I'd, I'd probably adore it more if certain characters weren't there, but. Uh... <laughs> uh, which characters might those be? Counselor, I sense he's annoyed while he's holding a gun to my head, Troy. Um... <laughs> She, she was Next Generation's eye candy. Nah. Dr. Crusher. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. She was gorgeous. Her red hair as well. Casually walks into the asteroid, working as intended. Absolutely. Yep. Well, that is working as intended. Because that wouldn't be you, Zerera. Termit says, I hear that Viking hasn't killed his bird yet. No, nice. no, he doesn't seem to have done. Or at least got an office. That or he's got a recording and he's doing it to irk me. No, because it's irking me as well. <laughs> I wouldn't intentionally piss myself off. By the way, guys, um, I like mugs. I, I've always collected mugs with, the, with things that amuse me. And I've got a Wacky Races mug recently. How'd you like that one? Hey, we haven't walked into an asteroid. Oh, I can see our station and the asteroid. Oh my, well that's... Pretty as a picture. It's convenient, isn't it? We might want to grapple the station, though, and... Uh, How we do this? It. Well, with a fabricator module on the back, probably not easily. Yeah. Well, what we actually... Mm, this is going to be quite... I'll be honest, I prefer Troy's mother. She, she had no chill. That is very true. I think what we'll do, I, I think the stream's winding down now uh, for this particular game, so I, I think what we might do is we'll dock up. Or at least we'll... Check out the fabricator module. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. It's got no oxygen right now, but... Ah, we've got helmets. Uh, let's go dock. We don't want to be grappling. Oh, you're white, you're... 
Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> I don't know why I have sound effects for everything. It's something I just need to settle down with, isn't it? There, there is no sound in space, so it makes in sense. Space. Actually, what we'll have to do is we'll, we'll have to match velocity uh, and not dock up immediately, otherwise we're not going to be able to get out, are we? No, that's true. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll get myself into a, a viable docking position. Oh my. Um, and then try and bring the ship to a relative halt. Because that way we can just pop back in. Agree. Um, are you talking about the difference in latency? Uh, oh yeah, I, there is huge latency difference. I certainly find that, that uh, Twitch is a lot better for chatting with my community. There's about 8 seconds of latency on Twitch. Um... Alright, we're pretty much stationary, I believe. Uh, should we go and check out the station? Yep. Um... <laughs> Gravy, look at you! You've put on a few pounds making. Thanks. Oh and my! About 51 seconds on YouTube. <laughs> so there is nearly 40, 45 seconds difference between YouTube and Twitch. Okay, help us on. Hold on, I gotta literally put mine on. There we go. All done? Yep. Ship suffers a thruster malfunction, ends up inside the station. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay, off you go. But remember, working as intended. <laughs> <laughs> Crouching Viking, hidden weapon. <laughs> what? Uh, I can't see it. Neither can I. Reload. Okay, it looks like there are some certainly some visual glitches in this uh, in this beta version. It seems that it doesn't necessarily fully load things. I think that's a problem with the occlusion. It could possibly be. I agree, Niblet. I agree. Ooh, ah, ooh. It's uh. It's still not there. Are you sure you grappled it up? Yes, absolutely. Well, I can see the grapples, and it's not acting like it's grappled to anything anyway. Are you sure we didn't lose it? No. Actually, it's possible it was destroyed. No. It is. It's possible it was destroyed in transit. <laughs> no. Uh, let me just get back into the ship. Uh, I'll try and release any dock. You absolute bugger. Uh, I'll try and release any docking modules. <laughs> I was so excited! Ugh. Hold on, hold on. We, we can still do this. Sorry, you stay outside. You're fine. You've got loads. Okay, well, I'll stay outside. Got the rest of your adult life to deal with this. <laughs> Elian! Like calm. <laughs> Let's take a look. Uh, what I'm going to try doing is I'm just going to press the detach button. Did anything interesting happen? Nope. Alright, we've lost it. Oh, it's okay. We haven't lost anything. Are you sure? Are you sure yeah. about that? I am certain, do not worry. What are you d you're, s you're spawning the damn thing in, aren't you? <laughs> no, shush. Alright, we'll do that. <laughs> I think it's d dash 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 spawn fabricator. <laughs> I can see you having a little bit of a spinny time out there. What are you doing? There it is. Oh, there it is. Right where we left it. 
Yep, exactly where we left it. There was there was nothing, no problems at all. I don't know what you're on about. It we had we had uh, undocked it prior to uh, going to look, and uh, it floated. That's our excuse, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> Did I get here too late again? You did, Edna. I'm just about to finish the stream. I'm so sorry. All right, let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> and let there be gravity. <laughs> oh, the 3D printer. And they have fixed the clipping issue. Yay. Damn. I'm so, I'm so happy about that. But obviously with no power, we can't recycle things or anything yet. Okay, so this is your fabricator yeah. module. Uh, Multiple like shells. Nice little Ooh, cargo panel some, here. Uh, we've got some gun bits down the end here. They weren't there before. That's quite useful. Personal so, defense locker. Plenty of shelving for loot. Loot, loot, loot. Plenty of uh, suit now, containers. This little and fellow here... The recycler. You can, you can bung things into this little slot here, close it up, and recycle everything. Normally it works when there's power. And then you can print things off using this. Yep, you go to Fabricator. Ooh, there's lots of stuff now. I like this. They've tidied it up a bit and you can... So these are the kind of things that you can craft in a game at the moment. And a gamer says, I might get this game. I'd highly recommend it. Um, we can craft lava lamps. Life is good again. And coffee machines. <laughs> so we could even craft protei. Yep. Uh, let's if just. If we had the. Oh, look at that! The resource injectors. Uh, they, they've actually done a, a, a pass now on the costings. Uh, it costs electrical scrap in order to create the higher tier things and electrical scrap is a bit harder to come by so i think that's really good it takes a little bit of helium uh don't we little... have like a million pieces of electrical scrap in we've, our we've, we've got a yeah. few I, I was picking them up <laughs> yeah that's great really really nice yeah four singularity core detonators Ooh. really cells. like the new menu system so really we can like produce it. our own uh Fully charged warp cells. Fantastic. That looks really, really awesome. Right, I think what we better do now we is... We have to play with that in uh, the next stream. Perhaps so, yeah. But should we get back to our ship? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat because I'm a sausage. What are you doing? There you go. I'm just refilling my oxygen. Oh, yeah, that'll work. I can do with that actually. Everything else is full, but now of course in the normal wasn't. version of the game you cannot do that, uh, ladies no. and gentlemen. Of course, uh, because we're playing the beta version, there are certain things that you're able to do that you wouldn't otherwise have the capacity for. Um, that's probably the only cheat that you'll see me do. Yeah, you didn't see me spawn in the. Uh, uh... Honestly, because we'd grappled it up. I think that was fair. I, I, I don't think yeah. that was an unfair use of uh, your capability. I don't know what happened to it, whether it had been destroyed in transit or... Well, there was no there was no indication that that had happened. No. Uh, it... Let me know when you're back in the ship. I don't know what happened to it. All right, I'm in. Okie dokie. Shutting door, pressurising. So, I think that was fair enough that we spawned that in. Normally, we wouldn't. Unless we were stress testing for the devs. Which I have been known to do. It's always nice to spawn new things in. Uh, I'll, I'll try and find what the spawn... The stroke. ...descriptor of the new ship is at some point. Uh, and we'll we'll spawn that in to have a look at it. Uh, before driving into a sun or something. <laughs> that sounds like us. Um... Well, hey, Windwolf, again. Right, uh, let's get ourselves docked up. Did you see that? What? If you didn't see it in the chat, then it is a command. 
just the question is, did it spawn anything or not? What did you do? I tried to spawn the stripes. No, I can't see it in chat. Hmm. Are we going to go and have a look, are we? Let's go see what we can see. Just to see if we can spawn it in. I don't know if we can. We might be able to. I'm pretty sure we can. I don't know if it's called strobes, though. Uh, I'm just about to depressurize. Helmet on? Okay, helmet on. Uh, I should always have a quick gander. Membrillo's online. I could ask him. Uh... Uh, I think you might be better off asking one of the uh, mods rather than one of the developers. Hmm. Because they might be busy doing stuff ma like making the game better. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Mind you, it is the weekend, isn't it? They're probably off. Uh, I'll, I'll message Membrillo, see if he's able to. Let me know. Let me turn my light on. I'm sure there was a... Um, it wasn't strobes. Well, that's what the picture says. That uh, picture. Let me have a quick look, see on, if it's on the... Uh, route. Because they uh, update the um, console commands every... Time there's a new pack. Uh, that's probably not something that they should have put for the for this build. Uh, general improvements: airlock collision optimization, meaning you can crash things better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where did you get it from? Steam. The game, yeah, it's on Steam. I think it's either £14.99 or £19.99 at the moment. Experimental feature. Oh, did you manage to clean up the whole loot pile? Yes, it's all on shelves. You're a good egg, aren't you? You can come I again. I try. Uh, general discussions. In-game dev commands. Yeah. Have they updated this? This is the Sara. Uh, I think it's something like Spawn Shuttle. I think that just spawns this, but we can try it. Or uh, Spawn Mill or something like that. Ah, thank you, Membrillo. Is he treating you well again? Yep. The question is, where has it spawned? Oh! <laughs> My jetpack wasn't on. Looks like it's above us somewhere. Hold on. I think I busted it. Let me... No, 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 you... We... Oh, my lord. <laughs> I think I busted me. Um... Uh, he, he was the one who told us about the uh, fabricator module before it was even finished. He's a good egg. There's a there's there's a ship, literally about five inches from our station. <laughs> was this you? I don't know. What is it? The shuttle? Yes. <laughs> I I just spawned it. So, you know, you can't blame me. I bloody can. <laughs> I 
Let me see if I can't locate the damn thing. Oh, there's another shuttle. Yes. So there's a thing below. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Oh. Ooh. It docks onto the bottom? No, I don't think it does. I think they've spawned in the same place. <laughs> Whoops. This is uh, very bad. <laughs> this is very, very bad. <laughs> I think I broke it. This is very, very, very bad. <laughs> I'm going to try and get into the shuttle. Get into the shuttle and self-destruct. Are you mad? That's my base! <laughs> Hold on, I found... Oh! What? A piss <laughs> What? It just went all shaky and funny. I don't want... No! Ooh, that's a pretty airlock. Don't you pretty airlock me! <laughs> Hold on, let me get into the ship and I'll see what I can accomplish. Oh god, we're gonna die. We're both gonna die. We're no, we're fine. We're absolutely good god, good god. Ooh, good. there's a rear cargo area here. So pleased. <clears throat> I can't actually reach the bridge because it's embedded into the cargo. <laughs> Is there a way of deleting things? Um, launch them into a sun? Well, we can't! They're attached to each other, the buggers! I think that's what uh, I remember I said, that the only way to delete things currently was to launch them into a sun. <laughs> when he was on Show Me's account and let us know about, yeah. <laughs> about the fabricator module. <laughs> Something is terribly wrong. Something is terribly wrong, we're going to die. Something is terribly wrong. Just, can you not get to the bridge? If you could see what was happening on my screen. <laughs> There's a lot of shaking happening, but... The stream is delayed by several seconds. Something is terribly uh, wrong. Come on, move forward. Uh, quickly. quickly. We might be about to all die. All hands brace for impact. Okay, well, you. Uh, you're moving it, but you're moving all of it. <clears throat> It seems Ooh, to have... It's free, it's free, it's free. Okay, alright. Let me Do try what? and get in it and see if I can stabilize it. Is there a warp cell to steal? I don't know. No, no there isn't. It's a lot bigger on the inside than I expected. Oh my. Okay. What right. they all say. Alright, I'm coming over to you now. Okay, I'll try and stabilize this. Thing. I didn't knock the station out of orbit or anything, did I? I don't think so. Whoa! It's quite the interior. There's a problem. <gasps> There's multiple seats! There's a problem. Apparently don't work, but. Uh, yeah, there is no way of controlling. Okay. This shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think it's mainly just the internal model and that that's done at the moment. Well, let's, uh, I'm coming over to take a look. There is an engineering core. There's three field generators. And hey, you can only have one warp cell. Uh, so, something bizarre happened. Uh, sure. beca because Viking. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it would appear that this will be an inter-orbit vessel. An intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic I, vessel. I, I'm wondering if they will be changing this for the shuttle at the beginning. It's possible. Because there's only uh, one warp cell holder. Now that obviously could change, but they seem to have gotten a lot of the internals. Let's take a look. Done to where they want it. I actually I really like the look of this. It looks. It even looks good from the outside. They, they don't look like they're far from finishing. 
the airlock slides aside. It looks so cool. Like, this one is a normal door. But then, are you in? Yes. Look at the outer door. Ooh. That's so cool. So, we have engineering in that back here with a bunch of lava lamps. What? It would seem. Let's see what we got. RCS. Oh, the air generator is spectacular. Yeah, and here's the, like, engine bay. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like it doesn't primarily run off warp cells. Uh, no, there's only one space for one warp cell. But there are three core containment field generators. Where's slots. the warp cell space? Here. In oh, look, yes, there it is. My the apologies. I'm... That's what makes... The fact that there's only one, that's what makes me think it's, uh... Just going to be an in. It stands to. Can we power this up? Uh, no. No. Okay. Because it's Bye. still missing a few things, like a actual working cockpit. Oh look! Emergency supplies. You've got med kits here. Ooh. And tubes. You can put tubes in here. I think. Let me just check. Uh, advanced yes! impact. Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then through here, we've got uh, some weapons. Things and shelves. Okay, more shelves. Shelves and some, uh, some shelves. And the most important thing, currently unworking and untextured, but additional seats as well as the command chair. I... Oh! Uh, and a hole, apparently. Uh, what? Did you just. Oh, there's no glass. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, well, the more you know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that far too much. Let's take a look. I, I'd like them to replace the shuttle with this, actually. I think that might be the main aim. I could be wrong, obviously, but it, it certainly does look like this will be a more inter-system thing, and then you have to find the... Um... Shuttle. Find the shuttle for going to other planets. It looks like you can still grapple. It looks like it's kind of got the grappling thing on the back. It looks like actually it's got a lot of grappling all around it. Because I mean, it doesn't look like you. Oh can yeah, perhaps this bit underneath lock. is a grappling thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can dock that airlock because of how it works. I've just noticed that our outpost is now 1.9 kilometers away from us. <laughs> We've got to get to it. Have we have we uh, looked at the ship enough? I think we have. We've looked at the pretty. Well, it's probably going to... Whoa! Uh, yeah, let's go back to the outpost. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what bloody direction is the outpost in? I can't even see it. I can see the asteroid though, so I'll head towards that and I'll be able to see the... Oh, I see the outpost now. My suit power is low, which could be a bit of a... Problem. Turn your light off. <coughs> It'll be fine. Right, let me try and get my lateral movement down. Oh no! What? I'm going too fast. How fast are you going? Quite. I'm travelling at 15. I was kind of up to about 30 odd. You see, this is why we can't have nice things. Good old Newtonian physics. Why you do this? Well, in many ways, that's a good thing for us uh, that those two things stuck together because it means it's not going to be in our orbit indefinitely. That's true, because we shunted that. Maverick, you were not authorised for a tower flyby. <laughs> Oh my. 
Are you on the opposite side of the station now? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, dear. You always want to try and keep your lateral movement under control. And that's why you go in uh, one direction that way. I don't like one direction. I don't either, but you know. You're in the ship yet? <laughs> no, I'm nearly there. Stop messing around, yeah? Shut up. Let's see what we got in this world we deal 7% in that one. Uh Jesus! Ow. <laughs> Did you just boink off it? <laughs> yes. I was trying to oh. light up for frack's sake. <laughs> You're right! <laughs> there we go. Um help! <laughs> nope. I'm floating through the ship! Oh, so you are. <laughs> Let hmm. me relog. Uh <laughs> I'll just repressurize. Stop punching me. Oh shit, he's <laughs> have to go out and come back in. Oh, oh no, no, you seem fine. <laughs> Ouch. Everything's black and white. So why? Oh, I have no idea either. <laughs> I'm sure this is the bit where you cave his head in with a, with a rock and take his bow and arrows. No, nope, different game. I have a loaded weapon. I could kill you. Oh, where are all the hell kits? <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, uh, uh. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> Are you putting a gun at me? Are you putting a gun at me? Kid, you know I'm the best shot. Ow, you dick! <laughs> oh. I appear to have been shot! <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Harumph! <laughs> <laughs> Right then. Hey, you're lucky it wasn't a power mode. <laughs> Sounds like something a kid would say, doesn't it? You're lucky that wasn't on power mode! <laughs> Unfortunately, in this game, if it was on power mode, I would have just blown your gut in half, I think. You're lucky I didn't do the wind up with my fist. <laughs> hey, girl, can you. Can you change the music? I could, yeah. Okay. Gentlemen, to your pods. There we go. Well, the stream's coming to an end now. So, I think we really need to change the music at this point because we're uh, we're ending it all. We're ending it all. Wait, no we're not. Well, you can. I need to just fix a couple of things on the station before going into the deep sleep. I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh... There we go.
Lovely. Dragon, I'm just about to leave. The stream is just ending. I'm so sorry. But I hope you've all enjoyed what you've seen today. Uh, and how, I suppose, if you like, amusing uh, the game can be when you want it to be with friends. Uh, <laughs> Terrifying the shit out of you by moving just after the restart. Oh, God. I, I, I did nearly have a heart attack with that. But guys, um, if you've enjoyed what you see and you want to see more Hellion, you know what to do. You've got to hit that like button. Uh, when it becomes a VOD, which will probably be later on in the day, make sure that you leave a comment saying you want to see more Hellion. Uh, I do intend at some point to do a, um, a solo survival series on it, uh, which will just be me. Uh, sadly, that won't be with Viking. But um, yeah, uh, if you want to see more multiplayer stuff uh, with Hellion, let me know. Uh, and I'll certainly have a think about that. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to Gulls of Ice, and I will see you in the next stream and or episode.